Alright. So given a, a particular like mesh like this and an edge selection mode, if you're trying to maybe in, insert edge loops or select edges as edge loops, and you notice your edge loop just stops um, at some particular spot. Um, so you can see, you can start to see where exactly the problem is. And rather than just working around it and continuing to select the edge loops, what you want to do is you want to select the edge that you've identified as the problem. And you have to identify uh, the problem area. And it's pretty easy to do. When you double click an edge loop, then you, you see the inconsistency in the edge loop. So what you want to do is kind of investigate that area. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, you want to select the what might be the problem, and you want to wiggle it around. And you'll see right away. There's a face that'll pop right there. So first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna delete that face. And this most likely came from an extra extrude somewhere. Um, continue to try to select edge loops and you'll see, still see the problem. So continue to move these and expose the problem from the double extrude. And there's a face there. And you're gonna continue to do this and try to fix this edge loop until you can get a clean edge loop selection like that. And at that point, you know you fix your problem and you can go back and loop your bricks into place. Um, so that's just a quick way to kind of identify some edge loop problems from double extrudes and take care of them rather than try to deal with the issue the whole model.